Sorry about the lighting. Um, we're filming this at night time. So my parents cooked this and gave me some. So I just wanted to try it. But I reckon it tastes better if it was in a pie. That's probably more relatable for you guys, for the Western um, culture. So you would have heard possum pie. There was a guy in the South Island for years, years and years ago. He made possum pie and that was a big attraction. So anything like a duck or pukeka, I reckon it will, um, it will be best in a pie. Um, just before I dig in and have a go and give you my honest opinion. Um, a few years ago I watched this this um, program on Choice TV. It's called Where the Wild Men Are with Ben Fogel. Where the Wild Men Are with Ben Fogel. Um, and he goes around the world and he um, does an interview, stays one week living with these people. And these people are off the grid. They're in really strange places. They hunt for their food or they barter and all that thing. And it reminded me about um, one, one European guy which went to live in, live in Laos. Okay? And some nights the whole village will go out in the middle of the night and they would catch frogs. And they would catch frogs and they would take it, take it home and cook it up and eat them. And for some people, that would be like, ew, that's, that's pretty gross. But for that culture or that part of the world, it would have been normal because the whole village was doing it. So um, just to let you know, I'm not desperate to be shooting Pukeko and trying it. Um, this channel is for your entertainment, pretty much. I don't think anybody really cares if I shoot a duck or not. They just want to be entertained. So, like yeah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I've got enough money to go out and buy a brand new car or go anywhere across the world. So, it's not like we're financially struggling. It's just that I just want to try some Pukeko. Okay, so here we go. Okay, here we go. This is um, a Pukeko stew, Asian style. I'm eating it with rice. This is my first time trying a Pukeko. So, um, let's give it a go. So, this looks like a bit of a breast. Uh, my dad said that they don't cook it long enough, so it might be a little bit chewy. I was wondering what that was. My little, my little palate. <laughs> you ate your own palate. <laughs> it's not as bad. It's all right. It's um. How would I explain it? It doesn't have a real strong gamey taste to it. Although it does have a little bit of taste to it. I mean, if this was in a pie, and you do the pie nicely, it would be, you would have never noticed it was uh, Pukeko. You know, if you've got the Pukeko, Pukeko breast. So, let me try another piece. So instead of doing um, just the breast, they actually did the whole lot, the whole bird. So I'm just trying to figure out which part is which. Okay. And this is like a, a stew. What do you call this in Asia? Jib? Um, it's like gang. Gang. I thought there was a longer name for it. No, we call it gang. Okay. That's all right. I'm not. I'm not vomiting, <laughs> which is a good thing. 
that, that's actually all right. That's that's. I mean, if I was working all day and was hungry, come home and ate this, this will be fine. Yeah. So there you go. Who knew? Poo kiko. It, it just tastes fine. Chewy. Yeah, because they don't cook it for long enough. But for the taste of it, I mean, if we cooked it long enough, or if they cooked it long enough, what does it taste like? It's like chewy chicken. That's it, just tastes like chicken. <laughs> no, but chewy chicken. Yeah, because they haven't cooked it long enough. So before anybody comment like, oh, that's how COVID-19 things started, by eating weird thing. Well, not really, because... Um, COVID-19 was from a wet market where you've got a lot of other animals in a small pack space but this is from the wild you see just like that um, where the wild men people are where they go out and get the frogs they get it from a lake or a pond in the wild they're not mixing you know all that kind of thing but if you were to say oh frog this is a pukeko <laughs> I mean you know it's it's not too bad but, like I said, it's a bit of fun, a bit of experiment, but yeah, it just tastes like chicken in the end.